Hey folks, thank you for joining me on the channel. My name is Ron and in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at the M94D by ICOM. It's as of April 2021, it's a brand new unit and it's packed with technology, useful for anyone that enjoys the ocean and is a bit adventurous ocean. perhaps. This has the GPS capability, it has the digital selective calling via the MMSI system as well as what's new to this one is the AIS receive capability. Now some people might wonder, well why is the AIS technology important to you Ron? Well, I'll tell you why. I'm a scuba diver, free diver, and I love boating, kayaking, sometimes I'm quite far out in the ocean. With this device, this is the Nautilus Lifeline. It's a marine rescue GPS system which sends out a man overboard 972 coded signal. And VHF radios like this one can now pick up this man overboard signal. So if I'm out scuba diving and I'm not on a very big vessel which has AIS technology built in on board, then someone with this in their backpack can receive my distress call. That's why this could be such a game changer and so important. To us. So let's look and see what we got in the box. We have the ICOM limited warranty registration. I will be filling it out and sending it in because I intend to keep this radio. This is the M94D booklet. It's nice to have a physical booklet. We're all for conservation and avoid cutting down more trees, but something this important needs a booklet in my view. It's nice to have this physical reference. We have the ICOM M94D radio, of course. We do have the antenna and it simply screws in at the top. I'll go ahead and do that one time for you. I do have a belt clip and that's going to clip on here. I won't clip it on yet because of course you need the battery compartment to open and then you've got a battery unit. You can order spares from ICOM. In this case you would look to see where your contact points are and that's that. So just, just to stick it in there. That's locked in. Just place it back here and Make sure it's properly clipped in because this device is waterproof, water resistant, and it does have an IPX rating, which I'll go through in a few minutes. The item is on, and I'll run through that in a minute. So that's that. And of course, now we can attach the clip so you can just simply fit it in or slot it in rather here. Just press down on the inside here, and that'll slide in, and you'll hear the click and it's locked. So that's your belt clip. So that's your radio. It does come with a lanyard and two screws to screw it in. And importantly, of course, you've got your charging cradle. This is where your power would plug in. And you do have a, an AC wall adapter if you're at home and you want to charge your unit. And of course, very convenient, you have the 12 volt power cable. If you're out on your boat, you can connect this and then connect this here does have the mounting screws and these are the screws here and that would screw it into your dashboard or wherever you need to or if you just want to have it portable as I would I can carry it onto the boat or I could leave it home. So that is the content of the ICOM M94D box. Let's look at the unit in some detail now. So here's the unit. On the left side we have a power on and off button and a one second press will turn on the unit and a press and hold of the power button for three seconds approximately will turn it back off. Now above your power switch you do have the push to talk button. The microphone is located, the input is located right here at the front of the device and of course when you push to talk you'll then release to listen. Now at the top of the radio, you will find of course your antenna which we screwed on earlier. This one is an external microphone jack and at the top here, you actually have the GPS antenna system and that's for receive purposes. Turning over at the back of the unit, of course you have your belt clip, you have your battery compartment, make sure it's locked in so that you do have the waterproof rating. You also have, if your system is active on the MMSI system, the DSC transmission is activated when you press this distress button at the back here. So it is a dedicated distress button. 
that sends out a man overboard via the DSC system. It does not operate if you do not have an MMSI number programmed into the system. At the front of the unit on the display screen, we have the top left hand corner displaying your MMSI number. In this case, I don't have one programmed, so it's not there. The flashing icon here is the GPS locator and it's indicating that it's searching and it's not finding a GPS signal because of course I'm doing this indoors. You also have a battery indicator. I do have the unit on low power at the moment and the power setting is indicated here. This has a one watt low power setting or the high power setting is six watts. The region indicated is the USA on this one. Of course, this is the channel that the radio is on. It's on screen and displayed rather than a frequency. For example, the standby channel, channel 16, is 156.8 megahertz, but it's displayed as a channel number, which is 16. The booklet also has some information on this and what channels relate to the megahertz rating. To switch the channels, you can move the cursor here, either up or down, of course. And you can always jump back to channel 16 using this button here. Takes you right back to 16 quickly, which is the standby and emergency distress calling channel. Now in the message area here, this is the area where you would get the information regarding your GPS position, as well as your time of this. This also has some of the additional features such as navigation and waypoint functions using the GPS capability. The battery is a 2400 milliamp lithium ion battery inside here, and it's good for about 10 hours with typical usage. The unit does have an IPX7 waterproof rating, which technically means that I can be submerged up to three feet for one meter for approximately 30 minutes. Therefore, in all reality, it's very uh, much waterproof or splash proof at the surface. Now, if the unit does land in the water, it has a function where whether the unit is on or off, a light is going to flash on the unit. So you're going to see the light flashing and it makes it more visible if you're trying to find it. If it does get wet, it also has an aqua quake feature, aqua quake, which means that if you turn it upside down, press the aqua quake function, then it's going to vibrate the water off of this so that it's going to be easier to hear and understand, of course. Another pretty important feature of the device is that it does have active noise cancellation. So that helps you in terms of hearing what is being said on this end. Uh, some of the buttons here, this is your cursor, as I mentioned, and this is the select button on the middle inside. You've got a menu button here, which can bring you to the AIS, navigation, GPS, aqua cake settings, and the radio information. Your volume is here. So it's not actually that bad as compared, you know, I did compare it to this button here. And even though we're used to this perhaps, this is not bad because we don't use volume and squelch that often. So we can press it one time, we get volume and we can move our volume up or down, of course. You can adjust your squelch, which is what can come in. So I'll bring it all the way down to zero. Back up to maybe two squelch and then adjust my volume so i can come back to menu back into 16. now these buttons and icons here uh, sorry the clear screen clear everything would be this and this brings you back to your start screen now at the top you have the scan feature the dual watch this thing also has a dual and a triple watch so you can watch three channels at one time which is a nice feature this one switches. If you were to go between the weather, you can set up a weather alert. And then if we come back to the, I can actually bring it over here so we can keep, this is your weather, channel four, and you'll hear what that sounds like. WWF 69, the voice of the National Weather Service. Right, let press list, you can have, in the AIS system, you can have target, danger, and friends, and you can put in your information there, your MMSI codes, and that'll pull up that information. So this is the ICOM M94D, perhaps in the next upgrade, maybe the M95D, we'll see the unit become Bluetooth capable also, like this one is. All things considered, this is a very welcome device.
for active kayakers, jet skiers, or personal watercraft operators, or even, and especially, which is the reason why I've got it, if you're a... Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. You have done well. This has been a presentation about the ICOM 94D, its useful features and technology. If it's been useful or beneficial in some way to you, please do consider sharing it and liking it, sharing it with your friends, your buddies, anybody ocean-minded like we are. Also, if you enjoy the content on the channel, you can look through down below a listing of all the different types of videos that I've done and I'm doing coming up in the future. Please consider subscribing to the channel. I talk about boating, kayaking, jet skiing. I talk about diving, free diving, and even fishing. One last thing, don't forget, if you see garbage, please pick it up. Don't leave our garbage in the water. It's just destroying that environment, that marine environment. Thank you so much for looking. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video. This is Ron, signing off.